I hereby officially declare this new technology centre open. There we go. Now, the reason that Daikin have invested 1.1 million in this new training centre is over the last few years we've been working very much on a theoretical type of training with very small amounts of practical hands-on experience. For the engineers who come on training courses, it's really important they actually understand how to work with the equipment. That will help them to actually ensure that the installations that are going ahead will be fully working, work correctly for a long life um, and operate at a very economical level. On the ground floor we focus on air conditioning, on the first floor it's heating. On the ground floor area we have four different BRV systems. We have water cooled, heat pump, heat recovery and BRVQ. There is a classroom. We also have a demonstration room of a more real life scenario for products. And in addition to that, we have a broadcast facility for web-based training. The type of WebEx courses we will offer will be 20 minute courses. On the first floor, the main focus completely is heating. We have eight separate bays set up with a full range of equipment. Each of those bays are practical from the point of view of the engineer being able to understand how to set up the equipment, how to fault find and how to service. It gives them far more individual hands-on experience. If we have a highly skilled set of engineers, it does mean that the callbacks, finding issues, the calls we get to our own help desk should drop significantly. If they understand exactly what the issues are themselves, they can self-help themselves in some way. Through records of training they've been on before, they actually have resources that will be available to them to uh, refer back to. It should reduce the calls that we get in, and at the same time, should actually reduce the number of faults that actually happen out there. I've been very impressed by what I've seen today. It's a very uh, shiny and new centre and as, as I believe one of the largest centres of its kind in the UK and that's certainly uh, great to see that kind of investment being put in by manufacturers which you know, shows faith in the future development of this marketplace. If we're going to see a big development of the renewable heating sector then it's vitally important that we get the right standards and training in place to support the supply chain. You know, we're looking at a massive growth in the sector over the next 10, 20 years. You know, the Climate Change Committee is looking at deploying four to six million heat pumps by 2030. And if we're going to do that, then we need a large army of uh, well-trained installers out there to, to deliver that. So the involvement of manufacturers is absolutely key to delivering that kind of training you know, for the supply chain over the next few years. See the variety of equipment here, lots of heat pumps, lots of th things that do heating and cooling together, lots of connection with hot water systems, even connection with renewables, so it all feels like it's all very well integrated. When you look around there's lots of uh, new technology that's being developed by manufacturers. Um, it's really important that you take industry with you, okay, so that they are familiar with the technology, they know how to best apply it, service and maintain it so that we can deliver the best technology for our industry.